Some have returned to the office. Some are still working in a home office. Since day one of this pandemic, the way we work as a region and a country has remained in a state of flux. Perhaps no other industry shows those changes more than commercial real estate. News 5's Jordan Vandenberg now with more on emerging trends and who might stand to benefit. For any business, a ribbon cutting <laughs> is a big deal. It's the culmination of an untold investment that we knocked down all the walls of time and money. And then we totally rebuilt the whole building. And for Redwood Living, it's about working together in being together. You know, it was real hard over Zoom or, or Teams to call somebody up and really have that coordination. A lot of the decision making that's being done at the C-suite about where they're going to locate and how they're going to operate has more impact now from the employee level than ever before. Very few people know commercial real estate as well as Nathan Kelly, the president of Cushman and Wakefield. This week, we're at about 32 percent employee occupancy nationwide. The market, he says, reflects changing attitudes and how we work and where. Office, on the other hand, is going well, but it's weird. So you see a lot of diversity in decision making around how people are using their real estate. Some of that was changing before COVID, but we're seeing all of those trends get accelerated. Those accelerated changes so far have been to the benefit of communities like Independence, which has offered substantially more expansion and relocation incentives this year than last. And the adage location, location, location has never been more true. This allowed us to attract a different talent pool and then still retain the people we had when we were on the east side. When you're in the heart of Cuyahoga County, when you're in the middle of everything, you get the workforce from the east, west side, south side. You get that dynamic that's very important. For every company like Redwood Living that comes back to the office, there will be others that don't, Kelly says. The location in relocation has also changed, as some companies will opt for suburban satellite offices instead of major HQs. Getting my employees back to my office might be a little bit easier when it's in the suburbs if your employees are nearby. But don't count out downtown. Downtown has the amenities, the energy, the density, the talent, and all the assets that the top tier of talent that we're trying to recruit wants. Grand openings of new business buildings are the culmination of time, thought, and money. And in a post-pandemic world, there is even more to consider. In Independence, Jordan Vandenberg, News 5.